So as we reflect on week one of the first criminal trial against Donald Trump, I think it's important to note that one of the most important people to him on his legal team is actually not a lawyer. It's an individual by the name of Tom Fitton who runs a group called Judicial Watch. Fitton is not a licensed lawyer, but he runs this right-wing legal group that uh, puts forward their views on a lot of legal issues, and Donald Trump follows basically all of the things that they say. They're the ones who had told Donald Trump that he could basically steal all of the government records or take all of the government records and claim them as his personal property because they had filed a case uh, about 12 years ago that they lost against the National Archives, which they had called the Clinton Sox case. And they lost this case, but they claim that this district court case gave Trump permission to take nuclear codes and other national defense information and war plans. But Trump heavily relies on this guy, Tom Fitton. And so, you know, Tom Fitton made this video of himself and Donald Trump, and I'll share it with you right now. And this is just so if you've never seen Tom Fitton, let me just give you a disclaimer. What you're about to see is very jarring. It may even be disconcerting uh, to you, but uh, Tom Fitton made this video of he and Trump, and uh, Trump is spewing the lie that Justice Mershon prevented Donald Trump from being at uh, Barron's graduation uh, on May 17th when Justice Mershon made no such ruling. It'd be well within Judge Mershon's rights to make the ruling. This is a criminal trial. I'm prohibiting you from going to Barron's graduation. But when this issue was raised, it was a scheduling issue raised during the early days of jury selection, Justice Mershon said, look, this is mid-April. I'm not making a decision about what we can or can't do on May 17th. It's not even clear if we're going to have trial on May 17th. So as we get closer, you can renew your request um, to have off that day from criminal trial so you could attend the graduation. I'm just not making a ruling right now. So what did Donald Trump do? Why? Play the victim go out and give this press conference where he was like, they're not letting me go to Barron's graduation and you need to feel bad for me. I want to see Barron's graduation. So take a look right here when Donald Trump does that. But this is a video that was made by Donald Trump's, one of Donald Trump's top legal advisors, the non-lawyer Tom Fitton here. Play this clip. Well, it looks like the judge will not let me go through the graduation of my son has worked very, very hard. Uh, he's a great student. He's very proud of the fact that he did so well. And I was looking forward for years to have graduation with his mother and father there. And it looks like the judge isn't going to allow me to escape this scam. It's a scam trial. If you read all of the legal pundits, all of the legal scholars today, there's not one that I see it said this is a case that should be brought or tried. It's a scam. It's a political witch hunt. It continues and it continues forever. And we're not going to be given a fair trial. It's a very, very... Yeah, and as our editor-in-chief, Ron Filipkowski, wrote, it's pretty tough to find anything more pathetic on the internet today than this. Uh, John Ailes writes, now Tom can't find a hat that's uh, Fitton. And just so you know, like, here's a video that Tom Fitton made earlier in the day as well, where he basically says that it is the Republicans, he accuses the Republicans um, of engineering the criminal prosecution against Donald Trump. That's where Tom Fitton is. And he makes these videos of himself wearing these, like, super, like, tight shirts and the whole thing is really strange, but here's the video he made before that one where he was like nodding his head about Donald Trump telling that fake story about not going to Barron's graduation. Play this game. Those abuses you see up against New York, uh, up against Trump in New York by Alvin Bragg, Letitia James, those abuses you see down in uh, Fulton County, Georgia by Fannie Willis, those abuses you see by Jack Smith 
against President Trump, all fully funded by the House and Republicans in the Senate. Republican-controlled House, most Republicans in the Senate. I mean, I saw the other day they had Director Ray, the FBI director, the descriptions of the testimony was, you know, is he going to be get grilled by Republicans? You know, get grilled by Republicans for what? All the misconduct and abuse they just fully funded two weeks ahead, two weeks ago? Spare me. You know, when you listen to him at the end talk about how, like, Republicans are covering up for the FBI director Christopher Ray. Okay, Christopher Ray was appointed by Donald Trump. FBI Director Christopher Wray is a Republican. He spent his whole life working in Republican administrations. He went to the top law schools, worked in Republican administrations. When Donald Trump appointed him, Donald Trump said, I'll be nominating Christopher Wray, a man of impeccable credentials, to be the new director of the FBI. Details to follow. But what? Because Christopher Wray is out there, um, just enforcing law and order when it comes to the January 6th insurrectionists. All of the MAGA Republicans accuse him of like being a deep state plant who's out to attack Donald Trump. The guys, this guy's a Republican. This guy's a Republican. This, for example, is Harriet Hagman. This was from a few months back. MAGA Republican Harriet Hagman, she's the one who took over Liz Cheney's seat when she defeated Liz Cheney as Republicans have gone full MAGA. So they went from Liz Cheney to Harriet Hagman. Here's Harriet Hagman attacking FBI Director Ray. And FBI Director Ray is like, the fact that you're saying that I'm somehow anti, that I'm discriminating against conservatives. Like, do you know what my background is? Here, play this clip. Um, Mr. Ray from the Twitter files, Missouri versus Biden disclosures, the Durham investigation and report, and exposure and collapse of the Russian collusion hoax. The American people fully understand that there is a two-tier justice system that has been weaponized to persecute people based on their political beliefs, and that you have personally been weapon that you have personally worked to weaponize the FBI against conservatives. I asked Mr. Durham about this, to which he answered, I don't think that things can go too much further with the view that law enforcement, particularly the FBI or Department of Justice, runs a two-tiered system of justice. The nation can't stand under those circumstances. Director Ray, what are you prepared to do to reform federal law enforcement in a manner which earns back the trust of the American people? Well, first off, I would disagree with your characterization of the FBI and certainly your description of my own approach. Uh, the idea that I'm biased against conservatives uh, seems somewhat insane to me, uh, given my own personal background. As to how we are approaching our work of protecting the American people and upholding the Constitution, it starts with me having emphasized to all of our folks over and over and over again in everything we do that we need to do the right thing in the right way, and that means following the facts wherever they lead, no matter who likes it. Have you heard of Bond Charge? Bond Charge is a holistic wellness brand with a huge range of evidence-based products to optimize your life in every way. Founded on science and inspired by nature, all Bond Charge products adopt ancestral ways of living in our modern world. Their extensive range of premium wellness products help you sleep better, perform better, have more energy, recover faster, balance hormones, reduce inflammation, the list is endless. But my favorite product from Bond charge is their infrared sauna blanket. The infrared sauna blanket works wonders. It has for me, and I know it will for you as well. The sauna blanket works by raising heart rate to that of physical exercise. So it burns calories while you relax. You can burn up to 600 calories in just one session. Sweating helps flush out those heavy metals and other toxins. And the infrared heat elevates your heart rate while relaxing, which releases endorphins and can leave you feeling euphoric after your session. It works by using infrared light, which heats the body directly, 
rather than the air around you like a traditional sauna. This means you get the same benefits at a lower heat. You also do not need to have your head in the heat like a traditional sauna. It's so easy to set up. It takes less than a minute to set up, in fact, and it heats up rapidly. Enjoy a session for 30 to 40 minutes while relaxing, reading, watching TV, meditating, whatever you'd like. I've tried other products, but they simply don't work nearly as well as Bond Charge. Bond Charge infrared sauna is easy to clean up. It heats up quickly. It's super simple to use, and the lightweight design makes it perfect. Bond Charge ships worldwide in rapid time and has free shipping on every sauna blanket with no hidden costs. And it comes with a 12 month warranty. So here's what you got to do. Go to bondcharge.com slash Midas and use the coupon code Midas, M-E-I-D-A-S, to save 15%. That's B-O-N-C-H-A-R-G-E dot com slash Midas and use the coupon code Midas to save 15%. More on Tom Fitton. Um, here's a, he, he posts these photos of himself like he goes was on Fox Business this unhappy day, but made some powerful points for the rule of law and against the malicious prosecution of Donald Trump. And there's this video of Donald Trump or Trump saying that he has every right to steal national defense information. And Tom Fitton goes, fact, check, true. And, and, and again, just Tom Fitton's, just so you know, when they talk about the Sox case, Tom Fitton's legal organization, again, he's not a lawyer, but they filed a lawsuit against the National Archives, I think it was in 2011, in Washington, D.C. federal court to enjoin or force the National Archives to order that President, former President Bill Clinton, who had left office by that point 12, what, 12, 13 years ago, turn over his personal handwritten notes in connection with his autobiography, because um, President Clinton had said that his handwritten personal notes were his own personal property. We weren't talking about nuclear codes or nuclear secrets. Personal notes, and uh, allegedly Bill Clinton kept this in a sock, his personal notes for the personal autobiography in a sock drawer. So fit and sued and said that National Archives, you need to get those documents back like 12 years after Clinton left office and the federal judge was like okay this is a stupid lawsuit like what are you talking about Clinton's not the, Clinton's been gone for 12 years I'm not going you as a private citizen don't even have standing to bring this lawsuit in the first place and um, and you know personal notes are personal property and it's not for the court to get in the middle of that so Fitton took that to basically say, aha, you see, uh, president, former president, they can declare anything they want as their own property. And that's all that matters. And that's when Trump talks about the Sox case. That's what he means. He's listening to, you know, this guy, you know, and here's just another video of him saying, huge fight to save election day. Judicial Watch filed two federal lawsuits. Here, play this clip. Hey everybody, do you think they should be counting ballots for up to two weeks after Election Day? Well, of course you don't. In Illinois, though, they count ballots that arrive for up to 14 days after Election Day, including ballots that don't have a postal mark on them. We're in federal court now trying to stop that because federal law requires an Election Day, not an Election Week, not an Election Month. We got a federal appellate court hearing this week. Hopefully that court allows our case to proceed. In the meantime, we're doing heavy lifting down there in Mississippi, where they count ballots for up to five days after Election Day. And in many other states, they also count ballots after Election Day or ballots that arrive after Election Day, uh, which is anathema uh, to the very notion of fair and clean elections. It creates a mess. It invites voter fraud, it undermines voter confidence, and it's downright illegal. And you know, there's a broader point I want to make here. Do you want, you saw that clip. Um, uh, here's Donald Trump's lawyer, Alina Habba, saying that she'd rather be pretty than smart. Play this clip. So, I'll, I'll tell you something. Somebody said to me, Alina, would you rather be, um, would you rather be smart or pretty? 
And I said, oh, easy. Pretty. I can fake being smart. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to me, there's got to be a, a core competence issue, right? There's got to be a, one of the qualities of leadership is actually to surround yourself with smart people. And because Donald Trump is, um, you know, requires, he, he's such a malignant narcissist, he requires that anybody around him um, sing his praises and anybody who's smarter than him, which is most people, he doesn't want around them. He's intimidated by people who are smarter. And that's like 99% of the population. So he puts around him in all of these key positions people who he's smarter than, which is not that many people. And so what you end up having is people like Tom Fitton and Alina Haba and Cash Patel and people, you know, and, and people who are just really bad at their jobs or unqualified. Like Fitton's not a lawyer. Why are you giving legal advice? You know, Jim Jordan's not a licensed lawyer. Why are you leading the judiciary? James Comer, you're not a lawyer. Why are you leading the oversight committee? You, you go through all of these kind of characters and clowns. It's like, why are you in these positions? And that's really where it's going to, you know, impact people's lives as well. I mean, all this stuff does. But when he appoints these people or has these people who are just the worst of the worst of the worst and just not not qualified i mean maybe they're good at other things but they should not be in this arena should not be in this area making life or death decisions over you over your family over your friends over your coworkers, people who are not qualified people who are not intelligent people who are not smart people do who do not have the requisite education right that's what i want to talk about more than this politics or that I just want to make sure that there's competent and qualified people. And Fitton, clearly not. You saw that. Absurd. I'm Ben Mycellus. This is the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million together. Thanks for watching.